packaging uh, symphony. Like mm. all the things that are going in here, the coolant lines, the PIA or part and assembly inverters, two separate motors, two mirrored gearboxes, all encapsulated in that structure. It may just kind of look simple or cool, but I, it is. There's a lot of engineering and cross-functional teams that I would <clears throat> bet every last dollar spent a lot of time going through making sure that every line had its home, making sure that where needed, right, local application of abrasion wrap um, is applied and everything looks really tight. It looks tight and it looks engineered. And again, <clears throat> people have asked, uh, asked me about uh, the Model S Plaid and is it really what it is, uh, you know, what, what it's claiming to be. And I mean, you just look at this, who's got anything like this? Nobody. So I'm, I'm, very, uh, I'm very impressed, hugely impressed with what I've seen and heard. Um, I never worked on, um, on the S or the um, X before. Um, so that's why Jordan's here helping us out. But w w what do you think of the difference between this and the other one? I, I think it is almost an entirely new generation of vehicle. I think they are leaps and bounds where they were on the first one. And I think that uh, they've done a lot of things to really establish themselves as a legitimate automotive OEM. And then in some cases beyond that, right, there's very few companies or examples of subsystems like this where we're seeing this much cross-functional integration. Yeah. And that's outstanding. That's something that we here at Monroe, when working with an OEM, uh, really try and encourage. And we have processes to help execute those types of engineering executions. Um, so, I, you know, great job. I think basically that um, what we're looking at is, um, <clears throat> is a culture that is, uh, nobody else has. Yeah. I mean, I worked uh, for almost every big OEM on the planet, and, um, and I can tell you it doesn't matter whether you're in Germany or Japan or, or here in the United States, cranking out something like this where you're crossing party lines continuously, I mean, at the end of the day, Everything's politics inside of, a, inside of an engineering department. And when you start moving away from I'm in structures and I'm in uh, uh, pneumatics or hydraulics and I want this and you want that, and it's nothing but one argument after another. When you look at this, like you said, a symphony, this is, this is, uh, this is truly a good way to, to put it. I mean, to make this stuff happen, you've got to have a different kind of a culture. And They've obviously, um, they've obviously figured it out over there because <clears throat> the guy that has this job and that job is not the guy that's got this job or that job. So we're looking here at uh, people that have to work together and I don't know how they blend them, I don't know how they make them together. I've never had the opportunity to go inside of, uh, inside of the inner workings of, uh, of Tesla. So. But I'm, I'm really impressed. Every time I see something, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. 